Hi, it's me again with CorelDraw Tips and Tricks, and this is only available in CorelDraw 2021, and I just kind of discovered it today. I was looking around trying to figure out, and if you ever want to, if you get a new Corel version, and if you go to help, you can highlight what's new since 2020 or 2019. So we're going to hit 2020, and you see this is highlighted, plus a couple other things, and even in the drop-down menu, there's some uh, perspective changes and stuff, but this, so this is only, and this isn't going to really help me. I draw in the center of the page all the time and I keep my page size, the size of my laser. Uh, some of my mentors and more knowledgeable than I always make their page size to their plaque size. And there's a couple of advantages of doing it that way, but this is kind of neat. Instead of so I've, I've got a plaque that is 15.46 inches by 8.256 inches. Instead of transcribing those numbers over to my page, I can click on this and it auto fits the page to the boundaries of the contents plate. And I don't want any margin, so I'm just gonna auto fit. Now it's putting in the text because I had that on there. So let's take this away. So if you had everything on your page, and you click on your page and do this, it's going to make your page 15.7 by 8.259. So now your page is the same size as your plaque. There's some advantages of doing it this way. And what I also thought about, if you had uh, two objects, and let's just hit the plus key on the keyboard and then move this object down here, and we want it engraved on these two items, We'll go to that page, and now our page size is those two items. There's one here and one there. I still believe I like working in the center of the page, but that is a new option. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.